There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Hi, I'm Zoe Deschanel, and this is Watch With Me. I'm watching something really good and it just draws me in. I feel like I've been transported. Wizard of Oz was the first movie I just fell in love with. I was just totally enamored of Dorothy and all the characters and the songs. I think I love the Tin Man the most because he wants to have a heart. The Tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No heart? No heart. And he wants to love. Sorry about that. The Harry Potter movies are so much fun. If I could be a student at Hogwarts, would I do it? Yes, 1,000%. I would love to. The ability to make objects fly. And how fun would it be to discover that you have magical powers? We Squish and flick. Wingardium Leviosa. I love Hermione because I relate to her. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. She's nerdy, like me. Not Leviosa. <laughs> I think she heard you. You might not expect it, but I love The Shining. My dad is a cinematographer. We would watch Kubrick and had a little film class at home. Here's Johnny. The supernatural fantasy thread that's running through is so well done. Red Rock, Red Rock. <laughs> I think you have the most beautiful singing voice in the whole wide world. When I got the script for Elf, I laughed the entire time. It's just nice to meet another human who shares my affinity for elf culture. Why are you messing with me? It made me really want to do the movie because I just thought it could be such a classic. Santa's coming in town! Santa! Oh my God! Santa here? Will Ferrell has an innocence to him that makes him the perfect comedic character. That is marvelous how that... <laughs> He knows exactly how much physicality or little to make the situations the funniest. My favorite holiday movie would have to be It's a Wonderful Life. Jimmy Stewart feels like he's a failure and an angel steps in to help him see that he's not. I told you, George, I'm your guardian angel. Yeah, yeah, I know, you told me that. I think that's just the human experience that you can get really focused on these small details and you fail to see the big picture. Merry Christmas! He learns to appreciate the life even though he's in dire circumstances. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. That's right. Makes me feel sentimental, appreciative of my family. I Love Lucy is the show that set the tone for every sitcom ever. Lucille Ball was not your typical leading lady at that time. She was in her 40s. She had a pregnancy on the show. Is it really do any matter? How do you feel? Are you sure you're all right? A lot of people would say a woman's career is like over when she turns 40. Yeah. The fact that she did that in spite of all those things is very inspiring. Dorothy, would you like to stay up all night with Blanche and me and watch I Like Lucy? I love Lucy. Well, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know how I feel about it. Golden Girls is like the perfect sitcom. I think especially the relationship between Rose and Dorothy, because Dorothy is so dry and like, she gets everything and Rose seems to get nothing. And so the combination of the two of them is like this perfect comedic recipe. Shall I set this down someplace? No, Rose. Go to the corner and open a stand. Hold on to that. <laughs> and, um... They're natural. <laughs> Fleabag is such an amazing show. She plays a lot to the camera. <laughs> I love her dynamic with her sister. Did you wash your hands? Of course not. Oh, my God! <laughs> She's extremely immature, and her sister is, like, very driven and accomplished. Tell the truth. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. It's modern. Don't lie! I'm not! I look like a pencil. It's French! They feel like opposites. Really? 
Yes. And I think that's kind of what makes them have such a fun dynamic. When I watch a great piece of cinema, it feels like delightful and addictive and thought provoking. It helps us understand our lives better. Thanks for hanging out with me. See my watch list and more on Google TV.